what really prompted you to apply for Utopia? What prompted me to apply to Utopia? Um, the premise, really. You know, there's a lot of reality television out now, and it's mostly arguing and um, personal drama, and, you know, there's a lot of wealth and affluence and, you know, their problems and what have you, and it just kind it kind of gets played out. Um, but this was the first show that I saw was pitched to me um, an opportunity to have a real social experiment. Um, average people put into an extraordinary situation and forced to kind of deal with our differences. Yeah. What is essential for you, do you feel, to make this utopia experience a peaceful one? Um, essential to me to make it peaceful in utopia would be um, for everybody to kind of have a sense of humor. You know, if, if there's one thing that's going to unite us, it's going to be our, our ability to laugh at ourselves. Um, Without that, I don't really think any kind of civilization can survive. You know, when you take things way too seriously, um, all that's really going to replace it is going to be anger and, and everything else. But if people are kind of more laxed and able to take criticism and, and uh, you know, laugh at their differences, it's the only way we can get along. You know, it says that you do hunt, you do fish. Is that, do you feel like that's your biggest asset you'll, you'll be bringing to the group? Or is there something else that you think will be vital to making your place in this spot in the world? I think that initially um, my hunting will be valuable, um, obviously, you know, to provide for my society. But, um, you know, after we kind of have a basic necessity structured out, um, I think I would be more effective in um, kind of playing the devil's advocate between all of us, showing everybody why they're not only right, but why they're wrong. And um, in kind of following, finding those follies, if you will, in all ideals, it um, kind of allows people to see why people would disagree with them. You know, if, if you're kind of presented with why your ideal doesn't make sense, then you're more apt to understand why someone might not accept it. Yeah. I mean, making a year commitment to leaving your home is, is, could be a big thing. What do you think you're going to miss the most when you're in Utopia? What do I think I'm going to miss the most? Uh, my best friend is getting married. She's the love of my life. I was supposed to be in the wedding. Um, and, you know, this came so close to the day of that I kind of threw her for a loop to find a replacement and um, so you know I feel bad about that and missing it as well. This is probably one of the biggest days of her life and I won't be there. Um, and not only that but you know my sister and my, my mom and my dad and all the rest of my family and my friend Joni, I'm gonna miss everybody. Did you do anything special to prep for this experience or are you trying to take it as it comes? Did I do anything special to prep for the experience? Um, I cried a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I talked a lot, I ate a lot, um, I watched a lot of Netflix. No, for the most part, my nerves have definitely got the better of me, and I kind of just shut down for a while, and, and I went into, like, um, frantic study mode. You know, I really brushed up on all of my hunting. Um, I brushed up on all of my hunting laws. I wanted to make sure that I was prepared, and I wanted to make sure that um, I had a long conversation with myself so that I understood who I was going into the, this experience. And I know you are from Detroit. What do you really hope to take from this experience to bring back to your city? I'm really, really glad that you asked that question because the whole reason I've been so passionate about going to Utopia is the experience that I'll have after. Um, not long ago, I watched a TED Talk where a little boy hosted, and um, he was around, I'm sorry, I forget his age, 11 through 13. But um, he talked about the benefits of alternative schooling. And in a place where Detroit has such a high dropout level, um, I really want to bring a program like his, what he called hack schooling to Detroit. Um, it's sort of like a trade school for high schoolers where they can learn um, different trades, various trades, and things like that. Um, it's just kind of an alternate or a last ditch effort, as you, if you will, to keep them interested in education before they finally just, you know, say forget about it. Yeah, that, that's a really probably one of the noblest goals that one can have for a reality show experience. Thank you. <laughs> are you hoping your friends and family actually tune in to watch you, or are you kind of advising them, don't watch me, I don't want you to, we'll talk about it when I get home? <laughs> There's definitely, because um, I sometimes have just such a foul mouth, <laughs> and I don't really have a very good filter as far as, like, I'll talk about gross and swear and all these other things that, you know, we all experience, but it's not really polite to talk about. But to me, we're all human, and whatever gross thing I'm going through today, I know you have been through it too, so let's just talk about it and laugh about it. Um, and that's something definitely I worry about, my family being like, oh, God <laughs> damn, like, I raised her, you know. So hopefully the name change will help them, and they can, <laughs> you know, <laughs> remain some type of um, distance between me and them if, if they so chose. But they won't. They love me regardless, which I'm happy about, so.